Hey guys, this is Jay. I just wanted to come up here because I felt like the Holy Spirit wanted me to speak something. The devil... Well, before I say, God is good. And... Yesterday and the day before, I was really going through... Um, spiritual warfare. The devil was trying so hard to get me down. And I really had to pray that he, to pray in Jesus' name to get the devil away from me. And I just want to say, if you are going through a period of spiritual warfare, please stand strong call in the name of Jesus. The devil hates the name Jesus. Him and his demons hate the name Jesus. If you can call on Jesus' name, Jesus has the authority to get rid of the devil for you. See, we we don't have that power. Jesus is the Son of God. God has the power and Jesus with the whole and the Holy Spirit, all of them, they have the power to get rid of the devil and help you through your spiritual warfare. Because we, you know, in this life, we are going to have trials and tribulations. That's just the way it is. I didn't make, I didn't create it that way. It's just how things are. Like if, like for instance, me, God was working through somebody that I love to hurt me. And I was really hurt by this person, but I had to think of my think to myself. You know, the devil wanted me to hold on to this anger, hold on to the unforgiveness. You know, but what good would that do? It will destroy me. It won't do anything. I mean, yeah, it may. The only thing unforgiveness can do is kill you. It's like. Unforgiveness and hate is like poison that not that would kill you instead of killing the person or the people that you want, you know, dead or destroyed. But you know, if you have hate or anger against somebody, give it to God. Pray to God. Pray for that person that has hurt you or whatever and pray that God takes away that anger that hate out of your heart out of your spirit because that does not need to be there because the devil will use that against you the devil does not want us to forgive others the devil does not want us to be kind the devil does not want us to do anything good in Jesus name but you know you will feel a lot better I know I feel a lot better. I'm sorry if the ca- if the camera is going which way. I'm just holding it with my hand, but don't let the devil get you to a point where you just want to give up on Christ and all that. No, and he will try because he wants your soul. The devil wants my soul. The devil wants your soul, but. Jesus paid the price of dying on the cross for your sins, my sins, all of our sins, and for us to go up to heaven with him. Hell is not meant for for us. We only go there if we choose to go there. So don't choose the devil's route. There are two paths. You can take you can take the broad path, which is the world's way, the devil's way, or the narrow path, which is Jesus' way, which is God's way. Yes, the broad path is easier. The broad way may seem funner and all that, but in the end, when you burn in hell, would that be worth it? I'm sure everyone in hell wish they had another chance to go on the narrow path. Yes, the narrow path is harder. The narrow path is it's more struggle with it. But in the end, I have faith. I believe that in the end, it will be worth it. And I would rather serve God, serve Jesus, than serve anyone else. 
because he has been too good to me. So I just want to say that on this video. I hope you guys have a great day. Whatever is in, whatever the trash is in you, give it to God and he will take out the trash. Whether it is anger, hate, despair, whatever it is. Whatever that the devil tries to throw at you, try to, try to, um, try to get you off your game, go to God and he is stand firm. And you will be all right. That's all I wanted to say. You are loved. You are worthy. You are special just the way you are. And until next time, folks, like always, stay blessed, stay alive, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.